Class by Gellner. Right now I'm going to do a project involving the great blue heron and a covered bridge. A lot of my art comes from the photographs that I take. I already have my great blue heron drawn up, but recently I've been on a trip for covered bridges. So I'm going to put this covered bridge on paper and put a great blue heron in front. So this gives you an idea of how I get my art, where my art comes from, Okay, so now I've moved upstairs to my studio where there's a light table. You see that I have more detail in my covered bridge. I have some rocks, I have a waterfall that's got some foam in it. Um, I have some trees in the background. And uh, now I need to trace my, um, my blue heron onto this pattern. And when I trace it onto this pattern, some of this detail is going to have to go. So one of the things that I have to do when I'm making out my pattern is I have to not only trace my, uh, my, my bird onto the pattern, I have to make sure that all the lines are running in a way that makes sense. So some of the detail is going to have to disappear from the pattern, and some of the detail is going to have to be distorted a little bit in order for this pattern to work. Okay, so now you see the bird kind of flying on top of the bridge. So you get an idea of what I'm going for here. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is trace this out so that the bird and the bridge are on one piece. And then what I have to do is look at shadow art. What kind of shadow art do I want to put here? I also need to look at glass. Okay, so here is the final picture. Um, you notice that I took out some of the boards in the covered bridge. There's a reason for that. You see where the lines are going up and down on the covered bridge? Those are lines that are going to have to be there to cut the bridge up in order to have the windows go in. Uh, the rest of the boards I think I'm going to make shadow art, so I don't need to cut as many pieces out of the covered bridge. So now what I have to do is I have to look at my pattern again, excuse me, and I have to decide exactly where, what I want to be shadow art and what is not shadow art. I know that the bird's feet, the lower feet, where the claws are, that's going to be shadow art. Uh, maybe some of the rocks might be shadow art, maybe some of the trees, I don't know. It really depends on what kind of glass I use, I end up using. Um, and again, I can cut this down a little bit if I don't want to make it as big as it is right now, it's okay. Um, so thank you for your interest, and the next cut will be me actually picking out the glass and you getting to see exactly what the final Thank you. Uh, if you are interested in the things that I make, you can go to my profile, you can click the link to Etsy, or you can go, just Google me, Glass by Geldner, G-E-L-D-N-E-R, and um, I have some really nice, unique gifts that you can get. Right now, I've got a 20% off sale. Uh, that is good until December 18th, 2014. 20% off everything, $50 and over. Thank you.